think we'll make ourselves four entry points so the girls can figure out what hole they want to run through. I guess if this gets weird here, we'll just block up that panel, but I don't know. I thought I was just going to hang one bar there and let them figure out their own excitement. <laughs> but we'll work that shit out. Hopefully they got enough room to run up the side of the wall here, but otherwise it's going to be a complete effing failure. I even tried to measure that shit and it's still wrong. Look at that. Yeah. Bloody hell, I'm probably better off just to do it by eye. Whoa, hit. What's that? What have we hit? Oh, we've hit the screw from the bottom. I didn't think that out very well, did I? Maybe it's just going to be a two hole entry. Poo. <laughs> ah, screw it. Two holes will be enough, won't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, now we're going to do a few air vents. I don't know, across the top here. Probably three and then maybe two at the bottom. So we've got to have some legs. Now, got three decent holes, I think. Oops, that's a bad one. Time! Hip, hip. We'll throw that one in the bin. We'll just do that. That'll be good enough. I think those ones might be just too big. <laughs> oh, ah, nearly knocked you out. <laughs> oh, hell, I was having that much struggle in the wood. I imagine trying to drill a metal bit with it. Now this has got nothing at all to do with beekeeping, but oh, I thought I might show you something interesting. Over here, have you ever thought, how the bloody hell do they keep those wine barrels from leaking? You know the wooden wine barrels and they make the little slits and they pack it all together and obviously they swell up. They must have been jolly clever, but I'll show you a trick. So they used to get the pine slats obviously and cut them all around and put them at a bit of an angle. But if you've ever wondered how they packed the rest of it up, this poor decrepit old thing was a bookshelf and it's ended up here in a bit of unfortunateness. But I just thought, as I was walking past here, I saw the reed sticking out. And they used to pack these, that's actually a little bit of reed that they used to get out of the rivers. And of course that will swell up as well, as the wood swells up, that swells up and makes it all watertight. How cool is that? Anyway, I thought that was pretty fascinating because I was watching this show on well, I don't know, anyway, on bloody History Channel or some crap. And they were carrying water with the wooden buckets and all that. So I reckon they're pretty bloody smart, our ancestors. Okay, so that should give us a bit of air. We'll get a bit of mesh and put across there. And then we'll, so we might just flip it over and see what we can put the other panel on the other side. And then we'll have to make some legs of some description. That'll be the fun part. Hmm. We might have to trim it up a bit, cut off the lip, or we might have to make a bit of a groove in the wood. We'll put it around here and we'll find out, eh? We've made an executive decision. We're only going to have one opening door. We thought that might be enough excitement. So, should I wonder if we should put that mesh on there while we've got this off? Nah, it won't matter because we'll have the door open. We can do that, can't we? With the door open. That'll be right. We're up to this bit, so we'll get the glass window. So I'm just going to drill out these pop rivets so I can take this little handle off of it. And then we can turn it upside down and screw it on the back. Now that's probably a lot quicker than the other option is to cut this lip off. So we'll find out. Hopefully this will work. Look at that. We're hands free. Ha, handle free. Oh, we'll get away with that beautifully. Look at that. Ah, oh, wow. We anybody would think we'd made that to measure? Look at it. I was just thinking, if you're thinking about writing in for the directions, there really isn't any. Because I'm just making this up. So, but if it works, maybe we will write some directions. Who knows? If you're a regular watcher of this show, 
you'd realize that I borrow a lot of stuff off my wife. And I don't know where the bloody hell it really is. <laughs> it was in the back of my ute. And I broke my golden rule that when I was take her stuff, I meant to put it back every time. But I took it out to the farm and I don't know where it went. So I had to go and get my actual own drill from the other work site. So hopefully I've found it before she gets to see this episode, otherwise I'm not going to be very impressed. No, she's not going to be very impressed. <laughs> I do love you, darling. And before you get excited, I didn't mean to. I can't see it. I know I'm in this shit because I can't see it anywhere. <laughs> ah, bloody hell. Sorry, folks, I'm so bloody distracted about this drill drama. And I forgot to mention, we're just, we're just screwing the back plate on. So we've got the front door and now we're just going to screw this glass panel on the back. And then we'll make some legs. And we're going to make a bit of a stand and I'll get Mr Muscles here to help me move some cupboards. And hell, if we're very really lucky, we'll get this thing put together so we can actually have some episodes to run. Otherwise, we might be like the ABC with that little, what's that bloody, used to be the little test pattern. That used to run during the evening when I was a kid. <laughs> Just thinking, wouldn't it just shit you off if we get to this point and we drill a hole through this and smash the glass? Like, damn! How many screws do you reckon we're going to need? Not that many, really, because if we don't get too excited, we could probably unscrew this if we really had to, couldn't we? I don't know. What do you reckon? Just four? Do you reckon, and one in here, maybe, and one there. Two top and bottom, and two in, in. I reckon that'll be plenty. Oh! I reckon that was the glass just there. I would say. We don't want to smash that. We'll just go back a wheezy bit because it's a. Yeah, I think you know how I was making that joke about smashing the glass. That would have been the smash. Oh, come on. Oh! <laughs> the things we do for television. We're not even on television, are we? <laughs> oh, come on, you recycled piece of shit. <sighs> okay, if we ever take that screw out of there, we get to get a new one, because that's like, I don't know how many projects that's been in and out of. That's looking quite cool. Hopefully that's gonna work. So, suck balls if it's crap one after all this. Oh, I'm just sort of thinking we're gonna make a cross leg and I'm reckoning we might just have to chock it out a little bit because that door's just scraping just a fraction. And I think when it's up, actually swinging on the hinge, it might be a bit risky. So we might put a couple of strips across here We'll just sneak the wood across a little bit more so we get away. Some some rough individual didn't hang the door quite square. Mind you, being that I didn't have any way to cut the bloody <laughs> hinge quite proper. So if I was to do this again, I think I would just get some individual hinges because then you can actually adjust your angles better with the big piano hinge, unless you're actually a professional, which is definitely not on my resume, you can't adjust it as easy. So there you go, there's a little hint for you if you're making one of these at home. As per usual, <laughs> repurposing. The young fellow would like to have the box off the ground a little bit. Well, sorry, this hive off the ground a little bit. I want it off the ground a little bit so the entrance isn't gonna be on the ground outside the door. Plus they can have a bit of air vent. So I thought this might be ideal. A good place to start anyway. So we're just gonna use this as the base stand. Put a little bit of a leg across here that can run along there and just basically screw that to this. And if we got real excited, we hopefully can screw it to the wall in here as well. But if a bloke can find another recycled screw. <laughs> or a wall. Or a wall. <laughs>
Anyway, I thought I might just make a little strut so we can hook it to that wall over there. But I don't know whether this would be a good idea or not. I'm not sure how jolly hard it is, but we'll find out in a minute. Or we'll we just chop it to the right size. Ta -da! <laughs> Do you want a gold star for the first piece of wood you've cut level? Wah! I'll do a little dance. <laughs> I'm just making a bit of a couple of struts here that we can figure out how far the beams are going to be away. So we can actually have it a bit away from the wall because apparently due to artistic constraints we need to have it a bit away from the wall so we can set the shot up for you guys. The things we do so you can come along and have a bit of a laugh at me. Anyway, that's the plan. <laughs> it's a bit like that bloody fridge project just goes on and on and on. Thank you all for your patience on that too. But by the way, they didn't die, which is quite impressive. Most of you don't, you don't believe me, but they didn't. <laughs> they make noise of major mint price, don't they? <sighs> we just got to cut a board to mount to this box. So then we can mount, so we can screw those legs to that. And then we can screw that to this. And then, no, I can't make that joke. But anyway, we've got it all screwed together. <laughs> well, here's my flash bit of measuring. I figure you want it past the edge of the box a bit. Now for all you clever people out there that are gonna email me or write to me or harass my lad, I do realise that this is probably not the most stable thing to use. It's to do with the height, and hence we have a stabilising strut up the top, okay? So before you have a total hysterical freak out out there, I do know it's a rough option. <laughs> Two in the middle, it'll be somewhere near. I don't even probably know it need it, but... I'll just see if I can mess it up while you're all watching. If we cut a little square out here, three fingers above the top of the pallet where we're mounting it. So if we cut a hole there and hopefully the little pipes can stick through there and then we'll figure that shit out outside. Now I suppose if there's not, with two holes, if that's not enough for them, we could drill some more holes, I guess. Make another entrance somewhere else, maybe up higher, down lower. Ah, who knows? Perhaps we'll just open the bloody door and let them fly around the shed. Now, Mr. Deco, if you get somewhere near the right height. Look at that. Ah, shit. <laughs> That's about it, bloody exciting. Too bad, honestly. We need to work out a... I wonder if we just put a screw through the bloody door and just... for a start. Yeah. And as long as you remember to find Mum's power drill, you can get in. Ideal, but it'll be all right. Can we just cut it off somewhere here? <laughs> well, that's very high tech, isn't it? <laughs> getting too late in the day to be too high tech. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not high tech even when I'm organised, am I? Oops. <laughs> that would bloody hurt if you cut that off, wouldn't it? Like, you know, cut your thumb off. The things we do, honestly. <laughs> Almost custom made, that hole. <laughs> about the middle. Yeah, we want it down a little bit anyway. We just drill those two holes out. So this is tomorrow because we're a little bit a little bit constrained doing this shit in the dark. Then I figure we'll do that and we'll put a little landing board there and the girls can land in there and run into our observation hive. Now I just fucked uh, it. No! 
Ow! God, that was that crack. Fuck! Ah, shit! <laughs> Stupid shit, honestly. Oh! Tell you what, shit like that would get you fired if it wasn't your own show, wouldn't it? Fucking hell! Oh. Hell, is there a glass glue? What do you do? Anyway, we've got another door. That means we can't make two! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this is my sad face. After all that shit, all those stupid jokes about fucking cracking it. <laughs> we get it up there, get it finished, and then doof! <sighs> There's a part of me that's very sad in my side now. If I was a little kid, I'd have a little lip to go. Anyway, we're going to drill some holes and persevere, even though I've completely stuffed the whole project. <sighs> no, I, feel... I think I need a drink. <gasps> drill the fucking hole. Okay. Wait, should we give him a fancy landy board? Look at that, I got a little bit of fancy wood. Well, that's kind of a bit cool. Maybe like, look at us, look at us. We're in a broken glass cabinet. We've got a fancy board to land on. That's all good. Right, okay, then all we need to do is cut out little bits of tube, replace the door, and we can go to bed. I don't think I'm gonna replace the door tonight. Oh, I'm not that bloody motivated. Plus, plus we're booked in for a Q&A thing, so, you know, otherwise maybe, maybe I could have just continued on till midnight. So as that you guys would never know that I was completely bloody useless at this shit. But anyway. That's all I reckon. Alright, so we'll just cut that air a bit, I reckon. Make it a bit longer than it has to be. Somewhere about there. I thought it might be a bit of a long run in, but I'm not sure how else you make it happen. It'd be rather entertaining when they're in here and I've got to change this door, won't it? So when if you're ever watching a bit of footage of um bees working their cells and there's this little line through the the footage you know just remember me because <laughs> i might not be around and tell the tale <laughs>